Hello again. This morning we're in the Ogwen Valley. Uh, I got up about five o'clock. It's just coming up to seven o'clock. It's going to be sunrise in about 10 minutes. And what I'm looking to do today is behind me there don't know if you can see that oops that's uh trevan um and i'm actually here to shoot that for a commission uh that sounds really good doesn't it actually it's my own commission uh my dad's gonna be 78 in a couple of weeks and back in the 50s and 60s when uh there were a lot fewer people in these mountains uh he used to come here every single weekend and by that I mean winter spring summer autumn every single weekend whatever the weather he got on his motorbike drove up from the Midlands up the A5 and spent the weekend camping and rock climbing um, so we've been back many times since then he's pointed out some of the climbs that he did and I thought it would be nice to get a really good photo of one of his favorite mountains in one of his favorite areas for his birthday. So I've climbed quite high. Um, I'm gonna just swing around so you get an idea of where I am. Always a bit wary of setting out in the dark to climb, but uh, the sun's gonna come up right behind me up there. It's already turning the sky pink the other side of Trevan. I'm really lucky because uh, when I got here, there was some very low cloud. And even though the weather forecast had it as pretty clear for this morning, I was worried that uh, I'd be going for the, the black and white stormy looking shot. But it's, it's cleared up for now. And if the sun does come up in the next 15 minutes, that way where there is a gap in the clouds, hopefully it'll chuck some nice light over there. So, uh, I actually haven't really set the camera up yet, so I'm not going to talk through my settings at the moment because uh, I don't know. But what I am thinking is if you look right across the valley there, I'm going to go for uh, a pano using a portrait because I want to give myself as much as I possibly can to work with for the final image. So, um, I've, got, uh, I've got my standard standard kit lens on uh, the whole thing about this channel is it's about um, photography on the cheap uh, because I am and uh, so we'll probably be shooting at 18 mil uh, and then I'll swing around getting in the summit of Trevan across you'll see Nant Francon down there in the distance in the valley and then over on the other side on the uh, right hand side over there is Penarolwen and it would be nice to get both of those into the final image um, if I can so uh, I'm gonna have to get cracking so I've got about 10 minutes before I get some decent light uh, mind you that said I've just noticed some serious clouds coming in over there so as with all of these mountain shoots it really is potluck uh, sometimes you're up in the mountains, you haven't got your camera with you, and the light is stunning. Uh, you haul ass up here at uh, 5.30 in the morning and there's no light at all. Um, kind of doesn't matter, I've got a pot of coffee, I'm perfectly happy, I've got nowhere else better to be. So I'll take some pictures and then uh, come back to you and let you know how we got on. It's about uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes after sunrise. <laughs> And it's gone about as badly as you might expect. Uh, behind me there, towards Kapil Kirig, uh, is where the sun would be <laughs> if those clouds weren't. On the plus side, what I have got is if I swing you around here, if you look down Nant Francon, uh, there's some really interesting cloud uh, which has been illuminated and dragging across the uh, the tops of the hills so uh, I've, I've taken a couple of shots down there that's really not what I came for because my dad didn't really climb there very much um, so I really don't know what to do because the problem is if I wait until this cloud moves away or burns off uh, the sun's going to be high enough that it's just your average morning light so um, 
Still a very pleasant place to be on a Sunday morning. My settings are pretty standard. ISO 100, F9, giving me a shutter speed of about a fifteenth. Um, and uh, what I tend to do in terms of getting a really pin sharp image um, is I use, um, I use a, a cable shutter, of course. Um, but what I also do on this camera, I don't have a mirror up option. Uh, so that means that it runs the risk of shaking the camera slightly uh, at the point when the shutter fires as the mirror uh, moves. Um, but there is what's known as exposure delay and what that does is it lifts the mirror um, about a second before the shutter fires. So uh, I find that works really well and frankly for such a cheap camera I'm really pleased with the results. I think I might do a, a camera review movie shortly because um, for the money frankly you just can't go wrong. Um, I, I would put it up against much much more expensive cameras. Um, but you do have to be careful when you use it. The difference is with an expensive camera you, you can get away with being uh, slightly less competent. Not that I'm competent, I might add. I'm just learning as I go along, uh, finding out what works and what doesn't work. Anyway, uh, getting a bit more nice light down there, so I'm going to make the most of it. Uh, I've taken a series for the pano shot, um, which I'll show you in post. Uh, not necessarily in the next video, but maybe the one after that, because um, I've got uh, some other post that I want to get published before I get on to this. Um, but there's some nice light in those clouds over there. I don't know if you can see them. Obviously, with this being a GoPro super wide angle, it, it, you're just not going to get the effect that I'm seeing. But um, hopefully you'll see it in, in my stills. So I'm going to leave it there for this video. Thanks for watching again. Um, do subscribe because uh, I'm churning these videos out now. Um, and you don't want to miss anything, do you? Take care.